Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a really fun video. I'm gonna be showing you guys what I'm asking for for Christmas. Um, just kind of like my Christmas wish list. First and foremost, I wanna say that I don't really expect anything for Christmas from my family because I'm at that point in life where like I can buy most things I want for myself. So I hate like even asking for stuff, but um, we're always like wondering what each other wants. So we'll usually put together a little list just so we have some ideas to go off of and at least we're getting each other something that we're gonna want and use. I really just wanna make this a video to kind of give you guys some ideas if you are still looking for something to ask for or if you're even looking for something to give to someone else. I'm filming on my brand new camera right now so hopefully you guys can tell a really big quality difference. I'm so excited to start using it and I think it looks great so far from the footage I've seen that I've taken. So I don't want to make a super long intro. I'm just going to get right into showing you guys what's on my Christmas wish list. So I'm just going to be reading um, my list off my Google Doc because we all just put together a document and then we like send it to each other and we can like use that and add like links to it and stuff. And again I don't have like too many things on my list because like I said I'm not like I don't really prioritize asking for specific things. Um, this is just, again, something we like reference off each other um, to be a little more helpful. So the first thing I asked for is a bath tray. I've been seeing these for a while and I just want to obviously to use in the bath. I started taking a lot more baths lately. Um, since I've been out of school, I've just had more time to just like sit and relax. So I think these are really cool. Um, you can keep obviously like a book or your tablet, computer, which like honestly kind of still scares me to just have your computer like floating over the bathtub but I always want to be watching YouTube or Netflix or something while I am in the bathtub and I always like have it off to the side and I'm like always having to like, turn my head so having a little tray will be nice and even just to put like little candles I see people do or if you have like a glass of wine or a drink or I see people even have like snacks on it I just think they're really cute and chic looking even when you're not using them it's kind of like a decor piece and I really like the kind of like rusticy wood looking kind of like a darker wood um, I'm not a fan of like the really red or like yellow toned woods, but I really like the stained look or even like a gray, grayish kind of color. I'll insert some pictures too of like everything I talk about, but this is definitely a good gift for any girl in your life because I feel like that everyone would appreciate it. Those bath trays actually run kind of expensive from what I was seeing on Etsy. Like they're usually like, like range from like, I mean 50 is not too bad, but then up to like 80 or $100, which I mean a lot of them are custom, so I understand. But definitely keep that in mind if you were considering doing like the bath tray. The next thing I asked for is an electronic USB um, lighter that I've seen on Amazon and I've seen in like everyone's videos. It's basically just you can use that in replacement of like a regular lighter for your candles and you can charge it by USB. So it's really cool because you don't have to keep replacing your lighters, you just can charge it and you use it forever. So I'd be really excited to get that because I'm always lighting candles and I feel like it would just make it a lot more convenient. I also like to put a lot of just like my essential things on my list because it's like things I'll just get from like Target or the drugstore and I don't always want to have to take the time to go pick up. So I put my primer that I use, um, the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer because I'm about to be out. So if I'm ever like running out of makeup around Christmas time, I'll just put that on my list and usually my mom will like put it in her stocking and stuff. So that's really self-explanatory. Um, just any kind of makeup is really good, especially if you know exactly what your friend or family uses. That's always something to throw in just as like a little extra thing. Going off of that, I also asked for the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. Um, I got a sample I think for my birthday and it was amazing. Like I was so obsessed with it and it's pretty much gone now because my birthday was in August. So I asked for the full size. I know it's a little bit more expensive for mascara. I usually hate paying like high-end prices because usually drugstore ones are so good. But this one's really worth the money. I think it's like $25. Most of the more higher-end mascaras at Sephora and stuff are around there anyways. So not only do I recommend this mascara specifically, um, I think just again knowing what your friend or family member uses for makeup it would be awesome to pick up for them. Another simple thing that I asked for is phone cases. And I get the really cheap ones off Amazon. They're like 5 to $7 and they've always worked so well for me. Um, I've always had a clear case and I have a white iPhone. So I like to like see the back through the clear case. But it gets really gross, especially just like picking it up on the sides. You can tell it's getting like dingy and like I always have makeup on my hands or whatever. So I actually asked for a black one this year, which I never have on my phone. I always have clear. Well, I actually have both. I had black and clear on the list. Um, just because in case I do want to use the clear one, I'll have a black one to kind of switch out sometimes. Phone cases are obviously like gender neutral. You can get that for your boyfriend or I mean any guy in your life too. The next item on my list is the white robe from Ikea. Um, I think it's called the Rock... Rockin, Rockin. We were in Ikea not too long ago and I, you know, they have like the bathroom setups and everything. It was just like hanging on one of the hooks and I was like, wait, that's like so nice. Cause I have a big white robe, but it's like really fluffy, almost like blanket material. And I wanted one that was more like lighter. This is like a towel. 
so i feel like it's nice to kind of have the option and i think it's like 20 dollars, so really affordable and they're obviously good quality because i feel like everyone actually has this robe so that's another good idea if you wanted to do like the bath tray and like some bath like bombs or something in a robe that would be a cute idea for like your mom or sister next kind of like practical essential thing i asked for is a new macbook sleeve um i like having my macbook in one of those like soft cases rather than like an actual protective case on the computer i like to just put it in a sleeve when i go to work and i'll put that in my purse um so those are really again like can go for a guy or a girl i asked for just a black or gray one because i just like to keep everything really neutral this is the one i have now it's like a marble pattern um and it's also for my old macbook that was like really thick and my new one is like so slim so i need one that kind of fits it a little bit better and i thought that would be a good thing to ask for because i mean it's only like 12 or 13 dollars but it's just one of those things I never like bring myself to go buy because mine technically still works. I don't always ask for like specific clothes for Christmas just because that's something I obviously like to go pick out myself and kind of shop around. But I have been looking for some white boots, like taller boots, because I have little white booties and I really like these that I saw on Forever 21 actually. They kind of have like that slouchy look and like a block heel. Um, I really just want some taller white boots because I only have black and like a brown color I think. These are really cute and on trend and again something like... I would go buy for myself, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I wasn't even specifically asking for this because I actually have some, I think, left from like last Christmas, but I just noted like my favorite philosophy scent on my um, document to send to my family because my favorite scent is Shimmering Snow Lace and it smells so good. Um, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it's just so like, I don't know. I don't I can't even tell if it's like a fruity or like a clean scent. It's kind of like a mixture of both, which I love. And I just noted that on there. So that's always like helpful to tell your friends and family. Um, just your favorite scents in general. Some people like really flowery. Some people like more like sweet scents. So it's good to keep that in mind whenever you are shopping. Next item, and actually does run kind of expensive too, which I was kind of surprised to find out, um, is a beach chair. I, I mean, I actually knew they were kind of on the more expensive side, but I want a like folding out like tanning chair. I love like fully laying when I'm at the beach. I don't just like sitting in a chair. So I saw these really cute um, like tan neutral colored ones on Amazon. I think I actually saw this from Jessica Howell. Well, Jessica Stock still now. She's like absolutely my favorite YouTuber right now. And she also keeps everything pretty neutral. And she talked about these beach chairs because a lot of them usually have just like weird patterns or like lots of colors, which you don't always like want. And again, it's a beach chair, so it doesn't really matter. But I just thought these were cool and really like chic looking. Um, they would be cute even for like pictures. I think one was like a little more expensive than the other, but I'll link like two. I don't know if I said it before, but everything that I talk about is also gonna be linked down below. So make sure to check those out if you are considering just buying this last minute for somebody. Next thing I've been looking at to get is a little jewelry box for my like dresser or table, uh, because all my jewelry right now is in one of those like long sleeves with like the pockets that you can like hang your closet it, which I don't really like and I mean I only have a few pairs of jewelry that I like actually rotate between so I think I can get rid of a lot of the jewelry I even have in that pocket thing and these boxes are still a pretty good size so you can just keep this on your tabletop and have different compartments to put your everyday jewelry or I could probably try and like narrow down my collection and fit it all in there. Next thing I threw in here is a Lululemon gift card. Um, even if it's not obviously a lot of money, it'll just like help towards something that I go buy because I've been looking to get a pair of running shorts. And I mean, just it's always nice to have extra money to go towards like leggings or anything you want to pick up. Gift cards are a great idea, especially if you're not sure exactly what to give someone. Um, it's not my favorite thing to give gift cards on Christmas because you want someone to obviously like open a gift, but I think it's still a good option, especially if you're kind of like up in the air or you know it's a place they really like and they're going to utilize because I think I love receiving gift cards. I just hate giving them. So I guess like other people would feel the same way. They'd probably like getting them. And the last thing that I put on my list, I actually just added this um, the other day and I like texted everyone. I was like, I forgot to put this on my list, but I actually really want these. And those are coffee table books. Um, I've been looking to get some of these. They're just really hard to find. I feel like I've only really seen them online and I really just want some that are kind of either like interior design related or fashion. I know there's like branded ones like the Tom Ford book, but that's like $100 and ridiculous. Maybe one day I'll splurge on that. But I found these few cute ones on Amazon. They're just like really neutral colored, which would obviously look good as like a decor piece or even like if I'm reading through it, it's something I'm interested in if it's like interior home or fashion stuff. So I really, really want these. I've been looking for them for a while and I figured like that's a pretty good Christmas gift because I think they run between like 20 or $30. They're really trendy right now and I know a lot of people just like that because it kind of doubles, like I said, as a decor piece and then something to read and look through. So that was actually the end of my list. I just want to give you guys a few ideas of what I was asking for in case, like I said, you either are still being 
asked by people what you want or if you're just looking for more ideas to get for someone else. Sorry if this video seemed a little bit rushed. I'm actually about to leave. I just want to sit down and do this because I never really have time during the work week now and I thought it would be a good time because I do want to get this up within a good amount of time before Christmas even though these are still going to be a little bit last minute. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope the new camera quality is good. Um, I'm really excited to even see this when I edit. Make sure to check all the links down below because everything I talked about will be in the description. I always have fun giving gifts. It's like my favorite thing and definitely puts me in the spirit. I hope you guys have a great holiday season and thanks for watching.